Hello? Time for another phone check. For real. Hello? Hi, this is Sherry Evans calling from Town Oaks. I need to speak to please. Yes. Hi, calling about the door that was uh, repaired. Yes. Um, I know, who did you speak to and they told you $100? Uh, it was... Actually, I had gotten a letter. I said, who did you speak to that was $100? I didn't speak to nobody. They they came with a letter saying that it was going to be $100. I made a money order and returned it in. Yeah, I know they. I want to know who they is. Okay. Um, as far as I know, they don't exist. The gentleman who came, looked at the door, said that they were going to leave me a letter here. Enough of all that blabbernacle. I'm just saying, saying that the repairs are about 325 with labor. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but I have gotten the letter that told me it was going to be $100, even my girlfriend. Are you not hearing what I'm saying? Yes, I'm. Yes, you're saying who's they who told me $100. Well, whoever they is, they wrote the letter with all the information at my door. Okay, but are you hearing what I'm saying? The repairs are 325 Yes, I, I'm hearing that. Okay, so you paid 100 so we're going to need a check for 225 because you, you're the one kicking in doors like you think you're a, a FBI agent or something. My son was inside the apartment, man. And whose fault is that? My, it was an accident. My son locked a deadbolt. Mm-hmm. How old is your son? He's one and a half. Uh, and cause, uh, he could start a car, I'm assuming, too. Am I right? Ma'am, the deadbolt is the lower lock. He, can, he, can, he, he knows how to lock the doors. Ma'am. I don't know no one-year-old that can do that. My one-year-old picks boogers, and that's about it. Ma'am, I'm not here. I'm not, I don't want to argue with you, ma'am. Well, I'm just telling you right now that I need a check for two twenty-five. Okay, ma'am. Locking kids in the apartment while you out partying. Out partying, ma'am. You don't know the story. I was out in the storage room. My son shut the door and locked it. Mm-hmm. Partying. I heard. I heard. I heard you. Yeah, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Come on now. Well, you know, a meth head had got to get it somewhere. Okay, you're assuming I'm a meth head now? I'm just saying, what you going to a storage apartment in the middle of the day for? No, ma'am. The way you're coming at me and talking to me and accusing me, no, ma'am. I'm going to end this conversation. I'll get back to you, like I said. All right, well, do me a favor and get back to um, Jessica. Okay. Okay, because she's the one that just set you up with this prank phone call. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> phone! You just been phone checked. Yeah, baby. Get phonecheck.com.